it's happening i'm reaching the end of my third quarter in massage therapy school which means there's about 97 days left until graduation it's hard not to feel every single emotion when i say that out loud that being said i haven't failed yet so here are some methods that i've used to not fail massage therapy school that you may want to consider in your journey number one knowing your learning style visual you like to see information such as charts and pictures you tend to remember things that are written down auditory you often prefer to be told how to do things kinesthetic you like a hands-on approach you would rather someone demonstrate to you how to do something to share i am primarily a visual and kinesthetic learner and like 2% auditory. If you tell me something, there's a really good chance I'll forget what you just said. As you have seen in previous videos, I write a lot. <laughs> That's how I am able to retain information. So I know sitting through lecture and hearing the information may help, but my primary learning is going to come from writing and repetition. If it's not written down, consider it mostly forgotten. That's the way my brain works. So instead of hiding it, I work with it. If you don't know your learning style, I did find a 20 question quiz that I'll link down below if you want to find out. I think this helped me not fail because when my teacher is lecturing, instead of just sitting there, nothing happening up here, I can be writing notes or doing my homework. Number two, ask for assistance. My school's motto is your success is our success and I truly believe they honor that. And honestly, no matter what school you go to, your success should be a priority to them. The school without students is just a pointless building. If you need tutoring or have questions, be sure to speak up and voice that. That's why teachers are there. Use every resource you have while you can. My hair and the lighting is gonna be all over in this video. I can't figure out this wall or my hair. So. <laughs> Dedicate the time to study and review. I wish I had a number of how many hours I have studied since the beginning of school. If you are someone who feels they don't really need to study and they just retain the information, that is awesome and I don't know how you do it. The times I thought I knew the information like that and didn't study, my test scores definitely reflected that. I recommend even if you think you have it down, go back, review it. It's not gonna hurt anything. Additionally, I'm still reviewing things from first and second quarter. Just because the class is over doesn't mean that you don't still need to stay on top of that information for your licensing exam. I have not taken the MBLEX yet because I'm not finished with school, but I can guarantee if you don't use it, you will lose it. Always go back and refresh on older information. My next tip on how to not fail massage therapy school is to download the MBLEX app. I think I have linked this app in every video I've made so far. We're all on our phones all the time anyways, so why not get a feel for what the MBLEX questions will be like? I started using this app as soon as I started school and I was awful at first. It was so cool to see questions like in kinesiology, which I had never taken before. I had no idea what the answers were. And now as I've taken all of these classes, I know the answers. When you get a question wrong, it will explain the answer to you. It's a really nice app and I think it's a good way to review and prepare for the MBLEX. Next, connect with other people in the wellness and massage community. Reach out to other therapists or go get a massage. I've started incorporating so many cool things that I've picked up from other massage therapists. Offer to give an LMT a massage so they can give you feedback. In a Swedish massage aspect, the school will teach you just the moves and the sequence, but it's up to you to decide what you like, what you don't like, things you do want to incorporate, and things that you want to leave out. It's honestly an art and everybody's massage is different. Additionally, think about obtaining a mentor. If you're interested in a video about my experience and new journey with a mentor, let me know in the comments. I would love to share and make a video about it. I love making these videos. I try to be extremely helpful and give some insight on what it's really like, answering any questions you have or my own questions that I've had along the way. Don't stop here. Continue to be curious and reach even further to someone who is already licensed, already doing this. Keep searching for those answers. There is always something to learn and there is always room for improvement. Lastly, some Something I believe that has helped me not fail massage therapy school, developing a good support system. First, within myself, one of the first videos I ever uploaded to this channel was titled Sharing My Why. My why has developed and grown so much since then. Discover your why. Why are you going into massage therapy? Why are you going into wellness? Then always referring back to that why whenever you're doubting yourself or when you're experiencing highs and lows. Trust yourself, be encouraging to yourself, and celebrate every step of the way because it really does fly by. Then you may have family, friends, classmates, or a mentor to vent to, share ideas, thoughts, and good news with. 
and I am rooting for you. I will always answer any questions that I can. I have shared videos and grown since the beginning of my journey and I can't wait to see what comes after. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much as always and best of luck.